my daddy cut me off. Me, me and Mona was shacking. Y'all know what shacking mean. Okay, young people don't know what shacking. Shacking mean you living out, living with your girlfriend out of wedlock. So I was living with my wife. She kind of tricked me to stay with her. Yeah, she tricked me to stay with her, hallelujah. And, and when she tricked me to stay with her, my dad, who was a preacher, said, I, I can't. I can't support your habit. I can't support you living with your girlfriend. Y'all ain't married. So, so money from my kingdom source, which was my parents, was cut off. All right? That was in right before 9-11. 2000 and 2001. 2000. All right? So 2000. Now, we figured out a way to pay rent that month. And then we figured out, yeah, boy, I'm just, we figured out how to pay rent the next month. And some kind of way after that, he took care of me again. And then he paid, you know, light bill, water bill. We had some type of vehicle, and he took care of that that month. And so I need y'all to do this math. If he took care of me for 12 months in that year, multiply that times, what is that, 22 years? He'd been taking care of me every single month. Why in the world am I worried about next month? Think about the last time that you was messed up. The la if you be even if you was homeless, you slept in the car, at least you had a car. I'm not worried that God's going to take care of me because he's been taking care of me all my life. If you be okay, your answer is yes or no. All right. Uh, 2015, did you have somewhere to stay? Did he pay the rent in January, yes. February, yes. March? Yes. All right, let's jump to 2016. Did he take care of you then? Yes. Did you have somewhere to stay? Yes. Even if it was at mama house? Yes. You have somewhere to stay? Yes. Let's jump to 2017. Did he take care of you then? Yes. Did he take care of your kids? Yes. Let's jump to 2000. God, oh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't even get through it. I can't even get through it. 2019, did he take care of you? Yes. Every single month. Did you eat every single day? Yeah. It might not have been what you want. You had something. Yeah. Why am I worried about next month? Why am I worried about next week? Why am I worried about next year? I'm just in awe of how easy he takes care of me. I always looked like the last minute we got it together, but he seemed like he always bring it together. Don't you realize that some kind of way your blessings are coming from somewhere? Every single month. When you need it, it's there. And y'all look good. Somebody been shopping in the middle of the pandemic. When gas prices are crazy, y'all still got cars. See, sometimes we're looking for a blessing, not realizing how blessed you already are. I'm blessed. I'm, I'm, I'm not comparing because I don't have to compare with somebody else. I'm blessed. I'm, ble I'm blessed right now. I'm blessed. And when I realize I'm blessed, then, then I, I realize wh where my help come from. See, the enemy used that phone to bring up a bunch of wants. And you try to make your wants, needs. You try to change your luxuries into necessities. But if you would just 
think of the goodness and what you have already, what you're wearing already, and what you have uh, and how much you've been blessed, the anxiety that's causing stress will go down. If I never go to the mall again, I'm good. My stuff might be dated in a little while, but they'll keep me warm. Hallelujah. The, 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 the stress of death of death. What's the worst thing that can happen? Death. What's the worst thing that can happen? Death. Everybody who don't want to be homeless because you feel like you're going to be outside, you're going to freeze to death. Everything is death. That's why the, the, the God said, yeah, well, the power is in you. Power of life and death is in you. Speak your way into things. Cut things off in your life in the spirit realm by using your voice. My body is rejuvenating itself every day. Why? Because that's what I say every day. I'm living in the best possible mindset. I'm, I'm, I'm just flowing, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, I, I was supposed to preach on something else, and I'm, I'm way off of. Uh, uh, I, I, I live in the best possible body because that's what I confess. And every, every day my body is rejuvenating itself because that's what I confess. I am, a strong, I am sound in my mind, for God has not given me the spirit of fear. One time, anxiety hit me one time, and the Lord said, say the word. What is the word? For, he says, I am not doing that. I am not punishing you with anxiety. I am not. Why would I get off my throne to punish you? For God has not given us the spirit of fear. Well, God, if you ain't giving it to me, then I don't want it from nobody else, so I ain't taking fear. Uh, what, what did you give me? Power. Love, sound mind. I have a sound mind. I have a sound mind. When everybody's going crazy, I am not a part of this uh, 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 crazy thing that everybody, everybody's uh, mental health. I, 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 I don't subscribe to mental health. I speak life into my mind. I have a sound mind. I don't have a mind problem. I have a sound mind. Somebody say out loud, I have a sound mind. That's how you take care of your mental health. You got to get into the word. You got to get into the presence of God. Hallelujah. In his presence is fullness. Hallelujah. What else can get in there? Nothing. It's full. Can fear get in there? No. Why? It's full. You know how you get in a car? You can't get in because it's full. Fear, your fear can't get in there. Well, not when you're in the presence of God. There's too much. It's too much fullness. It's, it's too much of him to have any other mess in your presence. Stop tolerating mess in your presence. Stop tolerating. Oh, my God. I don't tolerate it no more. The devil can't just do anything in my presence no more. Because I have power in what I say. Your family is blessed. Every Stop saying that you got a dark child or a black child or a black sheep child. No, all your children are blessed. Or the whatever is the worst one, the oldest, or the youngest, or the one in the middle. Or, well, you know what they say. Who is they? Stop letting they say over what. No, if he ain't say it, then they don't talk. This is a season for overcomers. Overcomers. Well, let's fill out the, 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 the formula. We overcome by the blood of the lamb. That lamb is Jesus. He shed his blood on the cross. And the word of our testimony. What? What do you mean? That means whatever you testify that you've overcome, you've overcome. Whatever you testify that you overcome, You've overcome. If you say you struggle with it, guess what? You struggle with it. How do you overcome something? You have to say, I overcome. That's how we overcome. We got the blood. Now we overcome. Hallelujah. So all the things that I said that I, I, I man, I, I said, man, I'm not a good administrator. My wife is better than that. You know what? I overcome in my administration. What happens? When you say you overcome, God starts to download you the, the information 
on how to get what you just said. See, the world try to tell you to go get the information first before you make the confession. Uh-uh. You got to say, you got to walk by faith and not by sight. You got to say it. I've been saying for, for a year and a half that I'm 180 pounds. When I was 280, I was saying, I'm going to be able to say I lost 100 pounds. And I just been saying it, looking at myself in the mirror, laughing at myself all the way down to 210. And I'm saying the same thing because I ain't got there yet. But my confession is, is, is bringing it down. It's, it's like if it's 100 degrees in here and we set the temperature to 70 degrees, the, the thermostat will start falling. It won't drop straight to 70, but it'll say 90. 89 because the engine is working based and as long as you keep it where it is it's going to eventually be what you set it at if you say something about yourself and don't change your mind don't keep wavering see the air conditioner we got you better leave that more because if you change it, it it'll shut off that mother get frustrated just be like I'm, I'm done like, man, I just wanted you to go one degree up. That month, no. So you got to set it, and you got to know where you wanted to be. Where y'all wanted to be is 70? All right, we're going to 7. Y'all sure? All right, we set it at 7. And then we keep it there, and then let the engines and the mechanism. We don't know what's going on to make it 70. We just know something is happening. And let me tell you something. You may not... Ooh, you may not know what God is doing to bring to pass what you've overcome, but something is working on your behalf in the name of Jesus. You don't like where you, where you are? Change it. How? Say, speak, I overcome. I overcome. I overcome. I, I just realized I got a rejection issue. I, I, I do bad with rejection. I used to do bad with rejection. Let me watch. I, I used to do bad with rejection. I don't do it anymore. I overcome rejection. Man, man so, somebody don't like something. Uh, my, um, my sister told me, my mom is in heaven. My sister told me last night. She said, mama told me that when you were uh, six months old, you tried to walk. And you fell and you hit your lip and you bled. And she said she couldn't get you to try again for another six months. You wouldn't walk, you wouldn't try, you wouldn't do anything for six months because it was in your head. And I was like, I'm like that now. If something doesn't work, I mean, certain things that God said, you can't quit. And then, okay, I got to keep going. Like, you know, but other things, I just, and I was like, man, I overcome the spirit of rejection. And this season, I'm going back to start doing things that I know I was supposed to do. But I, I got advice from the wrong person to tell me you shouldn't be doing that. Some of your best people can be haters. And they can hate in such a loving way. How many overcomers I have in here this morning? The dream you had, God waged a spirit war. That's how you deal. When, there's, when the enemy attack, you go into the spirit realm. You go in the spirit. You fight in the spirit. You fight in the Holy Spirit. You pray. You declare. So the physical thing that you had a dream about, you do that with your words. You shut them down. Hallelujah. Let me talk authority real quick. Some of y'all need to take over your jobs and take over your streets and take over your house from your bedroom. 
the Lord wants us to start pointing to street numbers in, 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 in the spirit realm, which means you could just imagine, you could see it, and say from this street to this street, there's no drug dealing, from this uh, there's no um, um, uh, sex trafficking, and, and the people of God, it's time for us to start taking authority by our words. If light, which, which you are uh, uh, bearers of the light, you are children of the light, and so therefore, if light, shines in any darkness the light prevails there is no wrestling with light and darkness you ain't never turned on your 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 uh light and saw light and darkness wrestling in the begin in the middle of your room no light uh, uh darkness immediately goes away uh voluntarily when the light comes all right so 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 there is dark stuff around our neighborhoods and around your house and maybe even inside of your house. God is saying the darkness is there because the light won't show up. And you don't have to go, you know how uh, some of them people be preaching on the corner. Ah! Be hollering at your car. You can't see nothing. They sweating. Ah! Thinking they doing, I mean, I mean if, that, <laughs> if God tell you to do that, that's fine. That's you. But there's more that you could do from your house to just declare. I declare over this whole street, or I declare over this neighborhood, or I pray over this school, or every, uh, 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 whatever, whatever God has put in your spirit, he wants you to use that power. What is the distraction from using your power? Worries. Bills. Taking thought about our own situations and circumstances. All right? Are you powerful enough to ignore your stuff for a day and go speak over a neighborhood? How much power do you have? How big is your imagination to pray over areas? God got me praying over the southeastern region of, of the United States and to, and to declare, and up the East, East Coast too, and to, and to declare. I'm just declaring certain things. Certain things I hear, whatever happened. Nope, it won't happen. Uh-uh. This guy's going to be found in Jesus' name. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just declaring. I'm using the power that he gave me. So if I use my power, then I get more power. You got to start using your power. What kind of power do you have? Stop letting people do certain things to you and your family and your neighborhood and live in a certain way. And you're not using your power. The Bible says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world, which means we trump what the world say. But what happens, the world prevails because we never show up. Showing up don't mean that you got to go to the White House and, and, and doing uh, what was the thing called? The thing when they start climbing over everything. Uh, at the Insurrect. You ain't got to do all that. You speak. Woo. All right, we're gonna get out. We're gonna get out of here a little early, cause I, I feel like God did. He wanted to interrupt the regularly scheduled program. All right, uh, there's a heavy uh, spirit of depression. Somebody's battling with it. Let's get it out you right now. Who are you? Come on up. Power God is in here. You dealing with depression like to the point that uh, you don't like yourself. Come on, let's let's deal. Let's deal. Let's deal. Pastor Kyle's a Pastor Rona, come on, stand, stand right here. Woo! All right. Hallelujah. Everything, sometimes, sometimes you have believed a lie about yourself. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. You got to believe the truth. And some, sometimes, man, when somebody usually tell me, um, that they've been blessed by my music. At times, I struggle to receive that because the lie, sometimes a lie is so loud. Man, you've been doing this all these times. And sometimes the lie is so loud. And somebody's telling the truth on one side that they, man, he's been blessed. The, the purpose that you put the song out and the music out really worked God, what God did right. And then the lie's like, man, you waste your time. And so we have to divorce the lie and believe the truth. The truth is that God never makes a mistake when he makes a human being. That you're made for a full purpose. 
and that you're walking in that purpose. That you don't have to live in the regrets of the past, but you live in the dreams of your future. Yeah. Woo! That's what I just heard. He said, dream! 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 get into your future get out of your past get into this is for somebody else too get out of your past get into your future get out of your past get into your future dream 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 hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, you about the Holy Ghost in here with you, bro. Hallelujah. Woo, dream. The plans are still, they're going to work. They're going to work. They're going to work. Trish, the plan is going to work. It's going to work. Do it. So work out something. Work out. What, what does that mean? Don't worry about it. Whatever it is, do it. <laughs> I be nosy trying to <laughs> prophesy and be nosy at the same time. Like, what? He said a Bentley. What color? <laughs> nosy prophet. How you gonna be a nosy prophet? <laughs> be like, man, let me get some of that. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, get it on now. This thing is over. Yeah. When you get up from here, that thing is over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Woo! I feel the Holy Ghost, Lester. Glory be to God. Shakaba. Dream. Styles and Kabel. Get back on shit, kid. Dream. Dream. Just need some strength sometimes. I gotta bring my little battery charges up here and say, boys, just stay here. Let me get some strength off you.
I don't know what's happening, but something happening. I don't know what's changing, but something changing. God's doing something right now. I'm telling you right now, something's happening in your life, something happening in my life. There's an expectation that I have. Hallelujah. There's an expectation that you need to have that your life ain't just going to end up being the same old thing. There's something's happening, something changing. You came to the right place at the right time. <laughs> Let's see what? Man. Sister LeCount, the Lord said dream, but I take that for me too. I'm finna start dreaming some more. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. All right, man. We're going to try to get out of here a little early. Start the ministry, Marquita. The thing that you're supposed to do, you got to start it. Really, all you got to do is get your email, whatever the name of the company is, at gmail.com. And that can be called your mustard seed faith. Mustard seed faith is the least amount of something that you could do towards what God told you to do. You got to make some type of move. When you get fear paralyzes you, it makes you not want to move. So I'm going to just tell you. I'm going to tell everybody. Go get you an email. Just start right there and email somebody from that account to make it active. You could hit me and just say, yo. And that's going to be enough for, for you to be qualified for mustard seed faith. And the Bible says if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you understand what you could do with mustard seed faith. It's just some type of move towards what God said, and then he going to start downloading the rest. I don't know why I'm on you, <clears throat> but yo, 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 money is st stuck because of the moves not made. It ain't the devil. We give the devil way too much credit. It ain't the devil. It ain't God either. Well, if it ain't the devil, and it ain't God, the devil is defeated and God is seated. You got all power. So, become. You could be in the process of becoming, or you can just be like, I'm it. That's a mindset. And as a man thinking, so is he. We can prove with the scriptures. But what the enemy wants you to do is keep down and keep, mm, nah, let's go. What are we going to do? We're going to open up an email. Email going to end up getting you to uh, another account, website, app, business. Bam. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something, something. 
mustard seed was like you received what I was saying. And when you received it, God proved it right. And let me, and let me second that motion. What's the name of it? Huh? Plushes. Plushes. What is it? Handbag. Hand, uh, that's right. I bought it. That, I remember. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ah, that's it. Hey. That boy. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. Somebody just said they'll do your logo. Somebody said that. So, 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 just because you, I know that's right. I'm going to get one. I'm going I'm to just get one. Because listen, listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I know when it's time to sow. Uh, 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 but I understand when God is changing somebody's life from fear to faith. Don't quit. Don't quit, sis. You a high rise walking. Woo! Don't quit. All right. All right. Jesus. All right. My life changing right now. Something happening. Somebody, somebody, God just put me on somebody's radar. Somebody's trying to look for me to be a blessing. Like, I'm, I'm saying this, but y'all better get this type of language in. Somebody looking for me. I'm in expectation. When folk walk up to me, I don't, they, they, I, I, I look at them like they're supposed to be giving me something and not asking me for something. I be, I, I, I they walk up to me. Now I'm walk, I'm walking up to them. Like, you, you. You know, usually, you, usually, you, you know, man, come on, man, come on. But now, now I'm changing. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, yeah, he walking, he walking with his hand. I'm walking with my hand. I'm like, what, 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 what? I'm telling you, yeah, but who got it? Who got it? I'm, I'm in expectation. Somebody, I'm in expectation. I'm expecting God to do something. I'm a distribution center. I got to get so I can get to other people. I'm trying. I'm trying to go feed the whole hood so I can tell them about Jesus. Who got it? Who got it? Wait, 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 wait. All right, man. This is a different service. 